This tragedy at 4th and Race began while crews were pouring concrete for the seventh floor of a 3CDC project there. Supports collapsed, sending the concrete crashing onto the floor below. Four workers were injured. One, as we know, did not escape. A round-the-clock effort to find that man began immediately. Crews from as far away as Columbus joined the effort. Much of the digging was done by hand as piles of debris were removed. Now, one of the big questions investigators are trying to figure out, of course, is what really caused this collapse. Tonight, the Nine on Your Side I team is learning more about the inspection process for the concrete workers and how investigators will try to determine the cause of that partial collapse. Chief investigative reporter Craig Cheatham is here now with that part of the story. The most recent city inspections for the fourth and race project show no issues related to concrete work. The I team asked an engineering forensics expert what could have caused the partial collapse and why he believes OSHA's investigation of the accident will be so challenging. A collapse like the one at fourth and race can begin with a single bad joint in a support system, according to metallurgical engineer and forensics expert Michael Neff. You have a bad uh, a bad joint, then then the neighboring joints can become overloaded. So when you see these kind of, kind of failures, the collapse occurs from one place outward, or or you know kind of like the one domino falls and then adjacent dominoes fall next to it. Neff told the I team investigators will examine the debris and try to determine the origin of the failure. It's going to be uh, complicated by the fact that there's all this concrete that is probably solidified around all of the support members that have collapsed. So it's it's hard to see where these things are if they're buried in concrete. Neff says the concrete will need to be jackhammered so investigators can recover potentially key pieces of evidence. Then, he says, investigators will likely use 3D lasers to progressively document the exact location of material as debris is removed. Remove the concrete take a 3D image, remove some more concrete, take a 3D image. The same laser equipment is used by government investigators on bridge collapses and traffic crashes. Now, obviously this investigation will go on for uh, a number of months. It's hard to uh, conjecture cause the failure until all of the analysis is complete. We learned the missing worker was checking for concrete seepage and monitoring the temporary shoring system supporting the weight of the fresh concrete. Forensics expert Michael Neff told us that investigators will definitely focus on the support system. Craig Cheatham, Nine on Your Side.